Jurgen Klopp has brought Liverpool far greater glories than anything available in this competition but an appearance in a domestic cup final should be cherished on Merseyside just the same. It is one of the modern game's strange anomalies that Liverpool have won just one Wembley Cup final in the last 15 years. In that time, the Manchester clubs have won 12 between them and last night's beaten opponents have won 4. So a success is overdue for Liverpool and now, against Chelsea next month, they will have the opportunity. They deserve their place too and will probably start that game as slight favourites. After playing so poorly in drawing last week's first leg 0-0 against Arsenal's 10 men, Clark's team were much improved here at the Emirates. Arsenal started the night well but could not contain early momentum. Once Diogo Jota scored an opening goal that Aaron Ramsdale should have saved in the 19th minute, Liverpool were in control and from then on their goalkeeper Kevin Callagher didn't have a serious save to make. Jay Ota, the Portuguese forward, was Liverpool's best player and scored the decisive second goal with 16 minutes to go. Initially ruled out for offside, the goal was given after a VAR check showed Jota to have been the right side of Arsenal defender Gabriel. For Arsenal it was a desperately disappointing night. Not only did they show themselves once again to be a fraction below the level required against the best teams, they saw Thomas Partey sent off for two late bookings. The midfielder had only been on the field 15 minutes as a sub, having arrived back from the Africa Cup of Nations earlier in the day. Why Mikel Arteta included him at all is something perhaps only the Arsenal coach understands. The first game had possessed all the intensity and vitality of a funeral procession. This one was different from the start. This competition always feels a little more vital when it reaches the back end of winter and both managers' selections reflected that. Strong, if not exactly full strength. Early on the momentum was Arsenal's. Perhaps encouraged by how competently they had coped with Liverpool a week earlier, they were ambitious. Liverpool, dressed in a yellow away kit, were not allowed to settle and were slightly fortunate to come through the opening quarter of an hour without conceding. Arsenal captain Alexandra Lacazette came closest to scoring in the fourth minute, curling a free kick towards the corner where it was touched on to the bar by Callagher. 